All day I wondered what the surprise was. Suddenly, someone knocked on the door. It was Lupin. Are you going to come and rape me or what? I was allowed to say that because Dumbledore had told us all to be careful around him and snap since he was a pedo. No, acts Shelley. Can I please borrow some condemns? Yeah, so you can fuck your six-year-old girlfriend, heart. Huh? Fuka, he shouted, gong away. Then I went. Then I gasped. Snape and Lupin were doing it, and Dobby was watching. Normally I would have been turned on, but both of them were fucking preps. Dobby ran away crying. WTF, is that why you wanted condoms? Only you wouldn't give them to me. Well, you should have told me. And then I took out my black camera and took a pic of them. What was that all about? It was to blackmail you. So now next time you see me doing it with my boyfriend, you can't fucking rat me out or I'll show this to Dumbledore. Well, anyway, I went outside and there was Vampire, looking extremely fucking hot. WTF, where'd Draco? Oh, he's being a fucking bastard. He told me he wouldn't come. You wanna come with me to the concert? We flew to the concert hall. MCR were there. Later, we all went into the skull. Draco, are you okay? No, I'm not, you fucking bitch. He started to run out of the place in a suicidal way. It's okay, Nobby. I'll make him feel better. You mean you'll go fuck him, won't you? Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came to. Draco, please come. And then dot 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 dot. We heard some footsteps. Vampire got out his black invincibility cloak. We saw the giant and Mr. Norris there. Is anyone there? No fuck you, you preppy little poser son of a fucking bitch. Excuse me who said that. Then he heard Filch meow. Filth, is there anyone under the cloak? And then... Vampire Frenched me. He did it just as... Mr. Norris was taking off the cloak. What the? He yelled, but it was too late, because now we were running away from him. And then we saw Draco outside of the school. Draco, are you okay? I guess, though. I suddenly had a vision of something that was happening now. There was a knock at the door, and Fug and their mystery of magic walked into the school! Well, anyway, I woke up the next day. I was in my coffin, so I opened the door. Standing in front of me were... Be Bloody Mary, Vampire, Diabolo, Draco, Dracula, and Willow. Darkness, who is Jenny, was there too. So, Crab and Goyle, why the fuck are you all here? Enobby, hey, something is really fucked up. Okay, but I need to put my fucking clothes on first. It's alright. We have to go now. And you look kawaii anyway. Oh, alright. But you have to tell me why you're being all erective. We all went outside the great hall and looked up, looked in from a window. A fucking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor was standing next to us. So we put up our middle fingers at her. Inside the great hall, we could see Dumbledore. Cornelia Fudgard was there shouting at Dumbledore. Doris Rumbridge was there too. This cannot be. The school must be closed. The Bark Lord is planning to kill the students. You are not fit to be the principal any longer. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. You must retry or Voldemort will kill your students. Very well, but we cannot do this. We can't close the school. There is only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort and she is in the school. And her name is... Enemy, Darkness, Dementia, Raven Way. The door opened, and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then, Dumbledore and Rumbridge saw us. Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Dumbledore blared at her. Oops, she made a mistake. She means, hi, everybody come in. Well, we all came in angrily. So did all the other students. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. You fucking bustard! I want to shit next to her. No, I do. And then he jumped on Draco. They started to fight and beat up each other. All of a sudden, a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. Thou hast failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou, and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou dost not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please don't make me kill him, please. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away cackling. Suddenly, I had a vision where I saw Voldemort came to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. OMFG, what if I'm getting all possessed like in that ring too? It's okay, girl. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what divisions mean, though. 
Well, we had deviation next, so I got to ask Professor Trevely about the visions. She's the coolest fucking teacher ever. Hey, I love your nail polish. Where'd you get it? Hot topic. Yeah, all the preps who didn't know HT was gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. When do you want to do it? How about now? Okay, class fucking dismissed everyone. Except for you, Brittany. She pointed at Brittany and some other preps. Please do exorcise. One on page three. Ebony, what the fuck did Professor Trevely say? She said she would tell me what the visions meant tomorrow. We started Frenching passively. Suddenly, I fell asleep. I started having a dream. In it, a black guy was shooting two gothic men. No, please don't fucking kill us, but he just kept shooting them. He ran away in a red car. But the worst thing was who the people who were shot in the dream were. Lucian and Sirius. Ebony, what's wrong? I told them what happened. Oh, fuck it. What fucking dick did that? I don't know. Now, come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. Dumbledore was sitting in his office. Sire, our dads have been shot. A lobby had a vision in a dream. Ha ha ha. And how do you aspect me to know Ebony's not divisional? I glared at Dumbledore. Look, motherfucker, you know very well that I'm not decisional. Now get some fucking people out there to look for Ceres and Lucian. Ponto. Okay, where are they? I thought about it. Long done. I told him which street. He went and called some people and did some stuff. I went with Draco to wait in the nurse's office, while Vampire went to slit his wrists in his room. Suddenly, Sirius and Lucian came in, and Professor Sinister was behind them.